In this video, we're going to look at finding the magnitude and direction of a 2D vector. Now, um, we already know how to find the magnitude, aka the length of a vector, and we're going to find the direction held with the aid of trigonometry, and then your wonderful graphic calculators are going to show you how you could do it just bang in one step um, to find that magnitude and direction. But before we get into that, let's just um, remind ourselves of what we mean by bearings because when we say say directions we are going to be looking at bearings so remember our north east south west at the top here north that is also referred to as degrees true and if I wanted to tell you where to go uh, in a nice manner uh, let's say I wanted to say well, we know it's all the way around is 360 degrees so this would be north is zero degrees true and then east we've got 90 degrees true we've got 180 here 270 degrees true is west and then we go back to 360 okay so if I was saying you know let's head off at 120 degrees true then we're going from the north we're going around around there's 90 and let's stop maybe just there um, and that would be our 120 degrees true okay so just keep that in mind because we will be looking at that a little bit more as we go along all right let's begin by taking a single a simple vector so let's consider um, two five and we want to look at its magnitude and its direction now its magnitude is not a biggie because we're saying yes we know how to do that by now that's just using our friend Pythag going to go 2 squared plus 5 squared which gives me root 29 no problem to find its magnitude um, let's consider what it looks like on our plane so with the 2 here means we're going across 2 there and then we're going to go up 5 over here so we've got our vector that looks a little bit like that now I would like to find its magnitude and um, sorry we've got the magnitude which is root 29 and we now want to find um, this angle here now we know that it's gone across 2 and it's gone up 5 so we're going to use our simple right angle triangle trigonometry um, if I was to take that triangle and look at it a little bit bigger a bit of a dodgy diagram there that we had so if I make that larger there's my angle there I've got two, I've got five, and yes, I've got the root 29 that goes along here, but you know, sometimes that will be a rounded off number or whatever, so let's just use the ones that we were given. Um, and so to find this angle, we've got the opposite, we've got adjacent, so it's our tan rule that we will use. So tan theta is opposite over adjacent, which is five over two. And to get our theta, we'll just say tan to the minus one of 5 on 2 and that will give me use your calc 68.2 degrees so pretty straightforward what we now say is the magnitude is root 29 and it's in a direction it's heading off here that is 68.2 degrees true so I'll actually rewrite that and say therefore the bearing is 68.2 degrees true and let's see what our calculator can do with this so we pull up our calculator one of the first things um, we should already have is that your calculator is in degrees here because we were working there if you've forgotten how to make sure it's in degrees remember shift menu go all the way down to angle and then make sure that you're in degrees all right so we're back here we're going to go to options um, we don't want any of those so then press F6 oops went a little bit too far then so press F6 once and we want angle press F5 and then we want more again so F6 and we're going to use this thing called polar form so I'll explain that a little bit more um, another time for now we're looking at polar form and we can put in the 2 comma 5 close your brackets and watch the magic we've got root 29 which was our 
length over here and we look here 68.19 which is 68.2 that's our degrees fantastic so instead of doing all of this we could have just gone straight to our calculator and got our magnitude and direction there seems pretty groovy so now let's consider a different vector and we're going to keep the same um, values there so we're going to get the same magnitude but we're going to have to look at it in a different quadrant so what happens if I went with minus 2 and 5 so now if I'm looking at my um, axes over here we're now looking it's on the other side is 2 and up 5 there so we're going to draw and you should already already realize by now that our magnitude will be the same so that will also be root 29 because minus 2 squared plus 5 squared is also, square root of that is also root 29. You can hardly see that root 29 there. Let's make that just a little bit bigger. Root 29. Um, that's 5. We're still wanting to find this angle here. So away we go. If I was to draw that triangle a little bit larger, there's my angle that I want. That's 5 and that's 2. No, we'll ignore the minus for now. So we go through the same situation. We've got opposite over adjacent. So we can see once again, like we had um, with the first one, we're going to get the same value for our angle, which is 68.2. However, this is by no means the actual bearing because if I was to say the bearing was 68.2, then I'm heading off in this purple line, um, which is not what I want. Okay, I want to go all the way around. So we want to go all the way around here to find the bearing. So from the origin around to x axes, that's 90 degrees and 180, 270. So therefore, my bearing is going to be 270 plus 68.2, which will give me uh, 338. 0.2 degrees true. So it all seems pretty standard. Let's see how the calculator deals with that. So we go up here, right? We're pretty confident. Going, this is looking nice. We go back. I'll just go again. We could, if I wasn't showing you this over and over again, I would just use my arrow keys, go up here and replace um, the values. But let's, oops, delete all. Let's remind you of how we get to that again. So we go options. We want more, we want the angle, then we want more again, and we go polar. So this time we're going to go minus 2, comma, 5, bracket. Now when I press equals this time, once again, very happy, we get the root 29, which is our um, modulus thing again, our, our magnitude. But look at our angle that we get, 111. That is not the same as this. And that's because the angle that they're showing on your calculator is what we call our angle here from our axes. They're going to give you our theta, right? They're going to look at it as going that way. So when theta is positive, it's going anti-clockwise. And when it's negative, it's going clockwise, right? doesn't make a lot of sense, but let's call that value up again, hundred and 11.8 so what that actually means is that we are going because it's positive we are going to go this way by 111.8 degrees right so that would be the vector there now you can see it's already looking a little bit similar to this one okay um, so how do we get that let's go that's 90 degrees there so if I can work out what that angle is, we're going to go that's 11.8, one, one, one take away the 90 degrees, that is this bit here, right? And so what we're saying is that is 21.8 there, which means to get my bearing all the way around here, <laughs> seems complicated, we're going to go 360 minus the 21.8. And lo and behold, we get the same answer here, 338.2. Okay, so 
up to you. You might think, no, I prefer to do all the trig a lot easier um, to do that. Clearly, when we've got larger values or we've got decimals in our values for our vectors, the calculator can be a better option. Okay, let's just do one more and pop it in the in a different quadrant so you can get the hang. Let's now take the vector, that's a bit thick, let's now take the vector in looking at it's going to be minus 2, minus 5. So again, if we're thinking of our quadrants, okay, we're now going to be minus 2 here and minus 5 there. So we're going down like so, 2. 5, we want that angle there. Same deal again, that's going to be our 68. Um, all right, that's going to be our 68.2 degrees because it's opposite over adjacent. Tan is 5 over 2. So my bearing using trigonometry. Okay, the bearing this time will be instead of 270 plus the theta like we did before, this will now be. 270, right, because 270 goes all the way around there, but I don't want that. I just want up to my angle. Let's get rid of that a little bit there. Oops, got rid of too much. Okay, I want that bit there. So we're going to say 270 take the 68.2 degrees, which gives me 201 point eight degrees true as my bearing. Let's see what the calculator says. So this time we will go polar minus two comma minus five. Once again we're very happy that it gives us this root um, 29 which was our magnitude. We agree with that but remember we've now got minus 111. Again that does not match the 201 that we've got as our bearing. So remember what it's saying is that it's coming from the horizontal, right? And it's coming along this way by 111.8 because it was minus, okay? So remember that when it's positive theta, it's going from the horizontal anti-clockwise and when it's negative, it's going clockwise. Um, and if we're then looking at, well, that's 90 degrees there and we're adding on this 110 to go all the way around, guess what? 90 plus 110.8 is, yeah, 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 hear the roars of the crowd. It is, oops, not 20.1. It is indeed 20, 200, sorry, and 1.8. So play around a little bit with your calculator and see if you can match up and uh, have a bit of fun converting vectors to their magnitude and the direction using trigonometry and technology.